Please address the mascot glitch and patch notes. And then the mascot glitch. Guys, remember, I, I just, I let the team know. And, you know, they address them where they can. Have you not learned anything about uh, doing glitches in the last week? Don't do that. Because we are watching, and we will find a way to ban you. Yo! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JR, and I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all boys how to do this mascot glitch, and then we're also going to talk about what Ronnie2k said, which I found extremely funny. Before I get in the video, I want to give a shout out to the homie, The Great Naniski. I did get Ronnie2k's audio from his stream in The Great Naniski's video, so I'll link his video down below, and then you guys make sure you go show him some love as well. And then, like I said, you guys heard what Ronnie2k said. This man will cap and lie to the community for sales, whether it be capping about that not being the neighborhood you guys already know he lied about pie charts all that but one thing ronnie 2k is not going to cap about is banning people in the 2k community Bruh. And this is so funny like what he said is i don't even know man i'm gonna address that here in a moment but like i said in this video we're gonna talk about what ronnie 2k said plus how this is a demon god glitch but i'm gonna show y'all boys how to do the actual ma mascot glitch in this video as well and then if you want somebody to do the glitch for you make sure you guys hit up go plug link to their twitter will be in the description down below make sure you hit up the right go plug because there are people who will scam and then also i gotta give a shout out to the homie little sean for letting me use his clips in this video as well um when i show you guys how to do this glitch this is from his video little sean's video so make sure y'all boy go y'all boys go show him some love as well his link will be in the description down below and real quick i'm gonna show y'all boys how to do this glitch but like i'm saying make sure y'all boys don't get scammed i know some of you guys might be younger and there are so many clowns in this community who will get on twitter or instagram and then they'll scam you for 10 20 bucks whatever the case may be make sure if you guys have somebody do this glitch for you make sure they are legit there was even a somebody that made a fake instagram account with my name jr way to code and they were they were trying to scam people so i'm telling you guys i will never hit you up and ask for your account information unless i'm about to make a video and yeah man so make sure y'all boys don't get scammed the only instagram i have is in the link is in the description down below so yeah man with that being said i'm gonna show y'all boys how to do this glitch and then we're also going to talk about what ronnie 2k said and how this is also a demon god glitch as well so to start this glitch off you guys are going to need three people one person with events the person that wants the events and then someone to send the park invites so step number one is you want to log into the account of the person who needs the events or clothing so that's step one and then once you log into that account go ahead and load nba 2k20 up and then once the game starts to load up you'll get this syncing message on xbox syncing data for nba 2k20 and that's how you guys know that it's working so what it's going to do is just sync this account onto the xbox that already has the mascots now once it once it loads up what you guys want to do from here is close out nba 2k20 and then go ahead and sign into the account that has the mascots or clothing that you want now once you sign into that account you guys want to go ahead and load up nba 2k20 Now once the game loads up, you're going to see this message again where it's syncing data. Now you want to have someone on the E1 account sign you out, okay? You want to have somebody on the Elite 1 account sign you out before it gets to 99% from a different Xbox. And then you'll get this message that pops up, you've been signed out from a different Xbox. And then you guys want to go ahead and sign in on the account that needs the mascot or clothing. So. Once that happens, you'll get on this screen right here. And to know if it's working, you can press start and then press start on email 2 get 20 go to manage game and add-ons. And if you see the mascot account under save data, the profile will be here as you guys see right there. If you guys see the profile right there, that's how you guys know that it's working. And then you'll be stuck on this screen right here from like for like five 
to seven minutes and then after you guys have done this once you're on this screen right here you guys want to have somebody send you an invite to the neighborhood so once you guys you know accept that invite to the neighborhood you'll load in and you'll have the mascots now whenever you're doing this glitch if you get to this part right here and it says you know lost connection to NBA 2k then you guys just have to restart the glitch that happens sometimes but like I said after you guys get signed out and you guys have got to make sure that the E3 account signs out before that sinking data gets 99% once you guys get signed out you'll get stuck on that screen and then you guys just want to take an invite from another person from the neighborhood and then you know it'll load up singing that like you just saw and then you'll be placed into the neighborhood and then you'll have a legend um, you'll have a mascot or a helicopter or whatever the case may be if you want a helicopter you gotta do this on a legend and then if you want a mascot just make sure that the person doing this for you already has the mascot on or the clothing that you want so you're gonna see right here and as you guys saw at the beginning of the video and in my video from yesterday you guys can be a whole elite one I seen a rookie with a mascot yesterday I literally played a rookie yesterday that had a mascot on you see this guy right here he's an e3 and he has the helicopter and I'm an e1 and I have a um, mascot and a helicopter it's crazy man this is the most fire glitch of NBA 2K20 in my opinion and it's all visual and this does stick forever. So yeah man, that's how y'all boys can do this glitch if you wanna do it for yourself and then you guys can also hit up Go Plug. they will do it for you too. Just make sure y'all boys don't get scammed like I said. So to address what Ronnie2k said, he, w he said that they're always listening and not to do glitches because they will find a way to ban us which is really funny. They're always listening, but they choose to ignore what the community has to say for the most part, unless it comes to glitches. You guys remember the red ball, blue ball event when everybody was going crazy, getting like 50k VC every time you won it, and they were able to take away that VC in like two days, and then when there's a lit glitch out, you guys already know they gonna start bending. But this man, Ronnie2k, is known for lying to the community just to pull sales for NBA 2K. You guys know at the beginning of the year he lied about you know that not the neighborhood he said that wasn't the neighborhood when it clearly was he lied about pie charts and just so many other things and it, it's pretty funny I cannot lie whenever it comes to 2k they will not listen to the community whenever we tell them about issues with the actual game but when it comes to banning people and scamming people for their money you guys already know 2k will be on top of it so yeah man I just found that clip extremely funny that 2k does listen but they just don't care whenever it comes to actually improving their game 2k20 is a really dog shit game i'm just gonna be completely honest with you it's on par with 2k18 i cannot lie so i just found that clip extremely funny and then also to address why this is also a demigod glitch whenever you have somebody do this glitch for you or if you do it with do it yourself have the legend or e3 account be a seven foot three center with max wingspan and i'm telling you guys whenever you do the glitch whatever height of the player and the face scan the mascot all that will be carried over to your player so in this clip right here you guys see i'm on my six three offensive threat bp build he's six three lowest wingspan and then you guys look he looks huge my bp build looks like he's the size of a playmaking glass cleaner and you guys see his wingspan and i'm telling you guys whenever i done this glitch before i got banned i felt like my player was so overpowered because i feel like i was playing better defense and i was getting more rebounds i just thought it was from the mascot which of course the mascot will add, will add height to you as well but whenever i went to the 3v3 prom arena i noticed that my bp build is now like what six five he's between six five and six seven with this long weeks wingspan so i'm telling you guys this is a demigod glitch as well and whenever people catch on to this whenever people like start make doing this glitch with a 7-3 center with longest wingspan we're gonna have like 6-3 or 5-7 builds with 99 speed they're gonna be you know they're gonna be tall 7-3 
speed boosting demigods out here. I'm telling you, whenever that part actually catches on, it's going to ruin the game. And, and it's so funny, bro. I don't even know what to say. But like I said, if you guys do this glitch, make sure you guys do it at your own discretion because 2K will ban you. They ban my account, which I don't care. I deserved it. That's not why I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm just saying, like, the reason I found what Ronnie 2 k said funny is because they listen to the community, but they choose to ignore us for the, for the most part. I deserve to get banned. It is what it is. But hopefully 2K will do better. I doubt it. But thank y'all boys so much for all the support, man. Drop a like. Drop us up. That's a high on the day. I'm out. Peace.